Welcome, everyone. Good boy, Tucker. This is learning at its most fun. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us for another Building Your Tech Stack with Redtail CRM. Today, we have our friends at Clout joining us to talk about leveraging AI to reach niche audiences through personalized content. I'm awesome, sorry. I appreciate that. Appreciate, sorry, uh, appreciate the intro and excited to, uh, to walk through the platform with everyone today. Absolutely. And uh, Joe, if you could tell us just a little bit about yourself, how'd you get started with Clout and uh, how long have you been working with advisors for? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, I've actually been with Clout since its inception. Um, I came on board as their SDR uh, about two and a half years ago now, was helping build out sort of the sales functionality of the platform itself, um, but growing the client base as well. Um, you know, I think that I have a unique element to bring to the table here, not only at Tiffin, um, but just working with our clients. I, I have a sales background as a whole, have had a couple different um, you know, jobs prior to this, but but ultimately kind of found my niche um, in this fintech space and and the ability to help advisors scale and really understand what uh, what the power of marketing can do for a firm or for an individual's book of business. Um, so, in terms of you know working day to day with advisors, it's been about two and a half years as the sales guy here. Um, I'm the director of sales across the RIA channel, so working primarily. Um, with individuals as well as their firms to build out consistent but impactful marketing. Um, you know, I think in general, the, the notion of marketing within the industry has, you know, left a bad taste in a lot of folks' mouths just due to the, you know, I guess I would say evergreen and generic approach that we see so often. And so what we're really trying to do with clout is, is not only reach that niche audience, but then do so with that personalized content. Awesome, Joe. And uh, last year, we did a little bit of an introduction between um, Clout and Redtail when our integration was first launched. And we're going to talk about some of the enhancements that have been made today. But in case maybe somebody missed that webinar, or maybe they're just hearing the name Clout for the first time. Can you kind of give us just a brief summary as to what Clout is? Yeah, absolutely. So Clout, and to kind of pull back the curtain a little bit, we are part see here um, of a larger company called Tiffin. Um, Tiffin has started a variety of different fintech platforms, everything from brokerage accounts with our company called Magnify. Uh, we've got a charitable giving platform called Luis, um, but Clout falls in as that digital and content marketing arm of the firm. And the reason that we got started was that we felt, and I kind of just alluded to this, but we felt that so much of the marketing in the industry had gotten so generic and very evergreen to the point that you know, one advisor could be doing a lot of the exact same things as another advisor. And, you know, that doesn't drive any value back to them. It's hard to differentiate that way. Um, so we built Clout to be a managed service. And what that means is any of our clients, as they come on board, they will be given a dedicated rep from our team. That rep will help build out, you know, the day-to-day -day management of the social media channels, pulling together content for that outreach, putting newsletters together, uh, email campaigns, both client and prospect facing. Um, and because it's managed, you know, we are the ones that live primarily in the platform itself. Um, of course, in any sort of marketing endeavor, we rely on our clients to really provide not only their tone and the messaging that they've gone with so far, but then hopefully allowing us to amplify some of their existing content choices as well. Um, the other thing that Clout does, you know, very well is, is the actual engagement data behind what we do. So, you know, not only are we going to help you put together these different outreach pieces, provide content for you, but then we've got very good real-time granular analytics that take a look at each individual that we engage with, again, on that individual level so that we can say, hey, you know, Austin wants to see content that looks like this, but Prospect B wants to see something entirely different. So it's going to be a managed service, primarily focused on email and social media distribution. Um, but then we do act as a consultant, you know, as well with our clients, building out some larger initiatives. Maybe that's driving registration for an event or helping them put together a webinar deck or anything like that. Okay, nice. So it's like a combination of both service and software in a sense. Uh, Absolutely. If, if you had to summarize it, Joe, as just like, if you, if, you know, just, just me and you here, what would you say is, is the value? Why, why should I, as an advisor, consider clout? What value does it create for myself or my client? 
Yeah, I think, uh, you know, great question. I think Clout does a great job at providing both qualitative and quantitative values, if you will. Um, you know, for some advisors, marketing is something that they've wanted to do for years. Maybe they haven't had the budget to hire somebody in-house. Maybe they've been burned by a larger, you know, FMO or an IMO for building out a website and putting together all these things that are going to cost you tens of thousands of dollars. Um, so I think the value in some cases is just that managed aspect. We give clients the ability to focus on their books of business in a way where they can still have these growth marketing efforts in place. Um, our kind of tagline here is you're always in, even if you're out. Um, so no matter what is happening in your day to day, if you're on vacation, if you're taking, you know, taking the kids and, and doing something and you don't have time to make sure that, you know, that social media post gets out or that email campaign gets sent, we are the ones that are going to be, you know, not only deploying everything, putting together the reporting on the engagement that we find. Um, so for some folks, that's value enough, right? We provide this service, gives them a chance to focus again on the larger things. We handle the day-to-day -day and gives them some of that time back um, without forcing them to put on their marketing cap each week. Um, and in other cases, you know, marketing might be something a firm is already doing very well. And then Clout comes in as, as somewhat of a supplement to that, maybe helping, um, you know, let's say it's a firm that's got 10 advisors and nine of them are knocking it out of the park with their marketing. And, you know, the 10th, for whatever reason, can't quite breach that, uh, you know, breach into their prospect base or has had trouble getting new meetings. We can also provide that service as well, you know, putting together really great calls to actions. Um, again, hopefully freeing up time to focus on those larger things at hand, um, but still ensuring that the marketing we do for them is going to be effective. It's going to drive, um, you know, some sort of a compelling conversation from it. And in any case, you know, everything that we try to do, we try to do to produce an outcome. You know, we're trying to get away from sort of that check the box mentality and really focus on, on driving legitimate outcomes as opposed to just, you know, doing it to do it. I like that. So you're always in, even when you're out. It's Absolutely. One less, it's one less cap that I have to wear as an advisor. And I get an exactly. ally, somebody who's an expert in marketing to help me with that hat. So Nailed awesome it. stuff, Joe. Uh, if you could just maybe recap for us, sort of, how do I integrate this with Redtail? How does Redtail and Clout come together to sort of help me with this this marketing effort? Yeah, so you know, Clout has um, a, a very great integration we've built out with Redtail that allows us to pull in any of those existing tag groups that maybe you've created on your CRM today. Whether that's as you know simple as your ABC clients, maybe it's a little bit more specific into things like your pre-retiree prospects, your business owners, your executives. Um, but in any case, and as I get a chance to show you the platform here in a little bit, Austin, we begin to use those tag groups as a big driver for not only the content curation aspect of the service, um, but to really start to produce messaging that's going to be specific to those tag groups. So, you know, we think of that sort of spray and pray approach that a lot of firms have ran with in the past, where you create one email, you send it to everyone in the lot, you hope that eventually it resonates with someone out there. It can certainly work, but it's going to take a lot more time. You might see some unsubscribes in the in the process of doing that. So we utilize those tag groups very specifically here to build out the actual outreach to be specific to those groups, um, as opposed to just one general message that you know may or may not hit them appropriately. Um, so that's the primary use. Now with that, it's a real time sync. So anybody that you add or remove on your end will be present on our end. We refresh it every twelve hours. So you know unless there's something drastic that got changed and we need to do a manual update. Um, typically we have that integration rolling nonstop, which then allows you guys to continue to use Redtail the way that you do. Um, and then we just implement it into the outreach that we have um, on platform at Cloud. So we're not pulling in anything past uh, first name, last name and email. Um, so no client information, no birth dates or anything like that. Um, but it is gonna allow us to then utilize those, those segments to truly build out you know, the proper marketing and the proper messaging. Awesome. Uh, Joe, if it's okay, I'd like to maybe just recap sort of what a tag group is in Redtail and how we make one. Um, yeah, I think please. that might be a good starting point. So I'm going to share my screen over here to uh, an instance of, of Redtail CRM. And uh, right now I am under the contacts tab here in Redtail. And so in order to make a tag group, you're usually going to want to narrow down your database by some certain criteria. So for that, I like to use this advanced search tool here across the top to find specifically the type of contact that I'm looking for. And so here I am on my advanced search. And today, let's say I wanted to pull up a list of my prospects. An example search that I might use for that is the type of contact. 
the field will be equal to status. Operand is equal to, and then I'll go ahead and choose from my prospect list. When I run this search, Redtail is going to pull up all of my prospects in this database. I have about 73 of them. And so if I wanted to group these together to be able to send, like Joe mentioned, the names and email addresses over to Clout for my marketing purposes, I can go ahead and choose all of the contacts here by clicking on this top checkbox, select all 73 contacts, and I'm gonna use my contact options, bulk actions, to add to tag group. And so here I'll want to identify it with something uh, that's going to help me remember it. So I might call this my cloud contacts. And I'll add that in as a new tag group in my database. So what that's going to do is it's going to take these 73 contacts and tag them with that unique tag group. And then now what I can do is I can go into cloud and I can pull those contacts based off of that tag group name. So Joe, once I do that, can you show us in cloud where those contacts come in and then maybe what do we do with them then? Yeah, absolutely. So let me get this pulled up here for us. So can everyone see this or at least you, Austin, can we see yes. the dashboard here? We are Fantastic. Like so, so this is the cloud dashboard. I'll, I'll answer your question here in a second, but I want to mention these three things first. So this is, again, first and foremost, where our team is living day in and day out. Each of our clients will have their own unique login that gives them the opportunity to not only help with the content curation aspect of the service, you know, track uh, progress of certain campaigns, take a look at some of the analytics. Um, but again, this is where our team is going to be not only producing a lot of the you know, deliverables, but using this to kind of drive that distribution as well. Um, so we think of this dashboard as a centralized hub for three different elements. Those three elements will, of course, be the content. Um, the second one will be distribution. And then lastly is going to be those analytics. So we like that it's centralized because in some cases you're going to Redtail to get certain analytics. You might be going to your LinkedIn page to find other analytics, your email service to figure out who's opening. It's hard to aggregate all of that. So we've pulled it all on the platform to streamline not only the reporting of each of those channels, um, but then hopefully allowing you to only have to stop one place to really determine the effectiveness of a certain campaign. Um, so as Austin asked here, where do these contacts pull in? Um, under this contacts tab. So we will actually be utilizing this and I'm gonna disconnect from this real quick um, to connect to your, to your Redtail account. Um, so we come in, as we click connect, we'll be able to pull in, you'll sign in with your typical Redtail username and password. Um, as you do that connection, it will then prompt you to pull in and select the actual tag groups of your choice. Um, so, you know, let's say you've got thousands of tag groups, that's entirely okay. Um, but what we will do with our clients is sit down and determine, all right, you know, which ones are going to be for primary distribution on the day-to-day, -day, week to week, month to month, which ones might just be the client side where we put together that quarterly newsletter. Um, so in any case, that's kind of the process during the onboarding call, um, where first and foremost, we get you introduced to your dedicated rep, allow you to, you know, ask any questions about the service following the demo that you would do with myself. Um, and then during that call is when we actually do the connection to each platform. So we'll come in, connect to Redtail. We'll also connect directly to those social media channels um, as well as the email server. So either a Gmail account, that could be anything from a G Suite to just a typical Gmail email address. Um, Outlook encompasses 365 as well as um, Exchange and some of the other Outlook accounts. Um, and then in any case, if we weren't to have those, we can pull in utilizing um, the SMTP host and SMTP port that is found in your email settings. Um, so that's what we do during that onboarding call. It's typically a little bit more of a housekeeping call, Austin, where we kind of get these things connected, see that we can get through, you know, certain compliance teams and things like that. We'll need to do approvals. So this first call is going to be primarily focused on getting these all connected, understanding the process, um, and then following that onboarding, our team begins to put together what we call the editorial calendar. Um, we have some best practices here that I'll touch, uh, talk to a little bit later in this, in this demo, but essentially we really want this platform to be what our clients want it to be for them. So for some folks, it's very prospect heavy. Other folks, it's very client engagement heavy. Um, in any case, we work very fluidly across the board. Um, so you asked, you know, once we pull in those contacts, what do we do with them? 
um, eventually and, and ultimately we start to build out those outreach channels. So whether that's a nurture campaign that's going to go out, you know, specific to um, maybe a tax deadline that's coming up or something around college planning. We do a lot of college saving um, campaigns over the summer as kids are home and advisors are taking some more time to be with them, you know, it gives us a chance to kind of have some seasonality to the marketing that we do. Um, but in any case, as we start this engagement, and first I want to show you what we call the actual engagement hub here. So each of our clients, Austin, as they come on board, and as we start to, to begin the outreach with them, is going to be graded on the engagement that we're able to drive for them. So we call it your clout score. I, to be honest, am thoroughly embarrassed. I was out of the office last week on vacation. My score is looking pretty dismal today, but it is a score from zero to 100. The value here is that this is going to be a real-time number. So again, that accountability that might have been lacking from some of the check-the-box mentality um, you know, outcomes you've been running with in the past. This is going to change and ebb and flow as we begin the outreach itself. And of course, over time, as we work with our clients, our goal is that this score is going to continue to rise. I just got off the phone here with another client. You can see his score is looking a lot better, closer to that score of 100. But as we do this, the score is actually a comprisal of each of those individuals that we just pulled in from your Redtail account. So as we start this, our system begins to analyze the trends and patterns in which these folks are engaging. So I think of this section as somewhat of a living, breathing sales funnel that, again, is going to ebb and flow based on what people are engaging with, as well as how often they're doing so. Um, but this is going to give us a lot of insight, you know, not necessarily just who the lower hanging fruit might be in regards to reaching out to them, um, but also the topics of interest in which it might take someone to schedule a meeting or raise their hand for a conversation, but also the medium of content, right? We live in a world now where content could be video, it could be a podcast, it could be a blog style post, a research article. So we also want to better understand what type of content is actually driving this engagement. As we do see some of these trends and patterns, we begin to utilize those tagged groups that you guys will provide us with through your Redtail account. And our system makes that curation process a whole lot simpler. So similar to how you log in, Austin, to your Netflix account, it's going to say, hey, Austin, here's the top picks for the week, recommending content that they believe you'll enjoy based on prior engagements. Our system does something very similar. Doesn't need to be named retirement prospects for this to work. You know, this could be Austin's prospects. This could be Redtail prospects. Entirely up to how we want to pull this in. But our system then begins to analyze the top five topics of interest for this particular segment. So in this case, we see retirement, pension funds, social security, saving, and personal finance. And now as we go to build out that next communication, put together that next campaign, if we're targeting this segment, we're going to have the ability to curate content that we know that group is going to be, you know, entirely resonating with, if you will. So that's what we start to do. Um, in any case, you know, we always try to envelope into what a client is currently doing. So if they've already got a monthly newsletter they run, absolutely, we can help them produce that and distribute it on the platform. If they're already doing some aspect of the social media management, we'll help amplify that and kind of augment some of the things they're already doing. Um, but really, the goal is that we can identify some of this segmentation based on the engagement we see. And maybe your existing tag groups need to get changed over time, right? We might be refining some of these lists even further as we push folks through that funnel. So Joe, this sounds where the, the AI comes into play, right? It's that absolutely it is constantly reviewing what the clients are engaging with or the prospects are engaging with, and it's recommending personalized content. To meet those interests. Based on those. Yep. And, and like I said, those five topics could certainly change over time, which is going to be super important. Let's say this is a client segment that we have in here, an actual client list. And all of a sudden your retirees start engaging with cryptocurrency content. You know, there's a chance to have an alternatives investment conversation. You can chat about adding some assets, maybe growing a referral. So there's a lot of opportunity for how we utilize this. But again, we, uh, we think of ourselves as this hybrid model where the human element, of course, will be that dedicated rep that is helping you build out the share copy. We produce everything on a bespoke basis. So we're not using an automated summary. We're not going to just grab an article and distribute it. We'll actually put some thought behind the share copy that goes out with it. Um, and then on the flip side of that, the AI and the machine learning that runs this platform is going to start to, you know, as, as strange as it may sound, is going to start to get smarter as we feed it that engagement. So it's going to start to realize that you're using Forbes articles primarily, or that video is your primary choice of content. So 
each client is going to have that very specific dashboard to them and the outreach that they do. Um, and that's why, you know, I like to think of it as this fluid approach because it will change over time as it does better understand what the audience is looking for. Impressive stuff. Thank you. Absolutely. So I'm, I'm happy to kind of keep rolling through the platform. I'm not sure if you've got a few more questions for me, Austin, but happy to show some other elements here. Um, I think, you've done a, I think you've done a wonderful job of sort of laying out you know, what cloud is, how do I get it integrated into Redtail and vice versa, and, and sort of some of the AI capabilities that are there. I was wondering, Joe, if you could just maybe share for us, like, let's say I am a cloud user and I've been using cloud for a while. What do you feel like, what are the power users using, right? What are some of those best practices that are going to yeah. help take that marketing to that next level? Absolutely. So I think in any case, it, it's a mindset shift that needs to happen. And it typically happens after we do a 90 day minimum commitment with the platform just for two parts. One, you know, we don't believe that proper campaigns can, can truly be fleshed out overnight. Um, we really do want to utilize this as, as more of a marathon approach to marketing a firm in general, right? We want this to continuously be working for the clients we have. As I mentioned, you know, even if you're out, you're still on and, and still have the ability to do this marketing. Um, in any case, you know, I haven't talked too much to the enterprise capabilities of the platform, um, but we have the ability to use this at the firm level and cascading content down and cascading campaigns down to the advisor level. So let's say you work at a firm with 15 advisors, you know, the marketing central to the firm, but each individual has their own book of business where we see, as you mentioned, some of those power users and where they're really able to scale this is what we have as, as that auto post functionality where someone at the top can say, hey, I want all 15 advisors to post this to their LinkedIn today. We have the capability to do that. Um, that in my eyes is, is the biggest force multiplier across the dashboard here where now, you know, a marketer doesn't have to say, hey, you know, Joe, why haven't you posted this to your page today? We have the ability to go manage that from the top track those analytics across the firm now where we have each individual seat scoring themselves each of their individual contacts being scored so it builds out that more kind of unified approach to the marketing at the firm itself now i mentioned the mindset shift in general what we need to get to is a point where we want this to be segmented we want this to be tailored we want the messaging to be very specific to each audience and in some cases you know i would say um, you know, there are folks that come on board with us and still look at this as checking the box, right? It is just another tool. I'm going to sign up with cloud. They're going to manage it. Fantastic. I think that's awesome. But with that, I think there needs to be this idea that we really want to grow, right? So much marketing can exist. There really is stagnant and things that just go out to be out there. We want this as a growth mindset. Um, and so I would say in any case, that is where our power users are, is having this mentality where Everything we do, we want an outcome from. We want this to drive new business, whether that's, again, on the referral side of things and growing assets with existing clients, whether that's the flip side and driving new prospects, things of that nature. Um, I think that's the biggest key here. Now, with that, there's certainly some just day-to-day -day best practices we have, um, and that's the consistency more than anything. You know, you can do great marketing, but if you're only doing it once a quarter, um, you know, is it going to really drive the best value for the firm? So that's one thing we preach to our clients is, is how can we be consistent without being annoying, right? The last thing we want is to lose clients or lose prospects because we're over sending or over inundating, right? So there's this kind of tight line we walk of how do we do this to be very, um, you know, obviously resonate and hopefully drive business, but also do it in a genuine manner. And I think that's something we try to do across cloud here is build this marketing in a way that's of course gonna be working for our clients, but hopefully shining a light on them in a way that maybe they haven't tried in the past. You know, I always joke, but the pieces of content and the, and the posts that do the best on LinkedIn for any of our clients are the photos of them at their holiday party or the golf outing they took their clients on or the community event that they volunteered at, right? Social media exists because people like being social, right? And that's something that I don't think enough people, and maybe it's, again, the mindset, you know, being self-promotional can be hard, right? It's something that not everyone can do very easily. And so that's something we help with as well, is how do we do this in a genuine manner that's going to obviously produce results, but hopefully allow someone to say, you know, I, I'm feeling validated by, you know, the work my advisor does on his off days because he's, you know, sharing values that I have or, or things of that nature, right? At the end of the day, a client wants to work with an advisor because, they feel comfortable with them. They have faith in them. They feel that, you know, they're going to be able to grow their assets and things of that nature. 
but that all comes back to that genuine approach to being, you know, a good advisor. And I think that's something we really preach here is how do we do this to really promote you and your firm, as opposed to just saying, you know, here's our financial planning strategies and how we do investment management, you know, anyone and their mother that's an advisor is doing those things. So how do we help differentiate? Um, that's really the key here is, is doing so in a way that, you know, is genuine, but also going to provide results. Yeah, I think what I'm, I'm hearing you say is, you know, you're going to get out what you put in, right? If you Yes, absolutely. Yes. Not that growth mindset. If you are committed to consistently keeping up your social media presence and staying in front of your prospects and your clients, you're going to get much more value out of this cloud platform. Absolutely. And the other thing I want to touch on there as well is that so many of the firms we work with, you know, I, marketing is something that they're currently doing, um, but we're able to provide a little bit more value on top of the things they do regularly. So let's say they produce a ton of content that they have on their website. They have a blog that they're steady, refreshing, two blogs a month. Unless people are getting to their website, it's very hard to validate the value that a blog on the website is going to provide. So we have the ability to upload any existing content to this dashboard as well that we can then distribute directly same way we would anything else. We're tracking the engagement the same way we would any, anything else, but now we're driving that directly to their website, right? So I think that this adds value in not only getting that traffic there and you know providing some more web analytics for the web team at each of your firms, but it's also then gonna allow you or allow them to kind of run their due diligence on you. You know, the last thing anyone wants, we've all been fed it in one way, shape or form in some case or another, a calendar link on just, you know, an intro email. Here's my calendar, grab time for you. I don't know you, right? I, what, what's to say that I'm ready to have a conversation? So we really build out that nurturing element here where now we're inundating them with the logo. We're giving them a chance to meet the team, see what strategies they have. If today's not the day, that's entirely okay. In most cases, a person's not going to reach out to meet with an advisor until a significant life event happens, whether that's a marriage, a divorce, a child, whatever it might be. So we want to make sure that we keep our clients top of mind with their focus in regards to their existing prospect base, their existing clients, so that if that timing does add up and it makes sense to do some outreach, now they know who NCFA is or signature financial planning or whatever it may be. So we can upload any of that existing content and start to provide value as to what content they produce drives the most engagement. If they're spending tens of thousands of dollars on a video production team, but the videos aren't getting watched, let's move that money somewhere else, right? Let's focus these efforts on the things that are driving value for the firm. And we're able to identify that in, in our analytics, as well as, you know, the promotion of the, the things that they're already doing. Amazing stuff, Joe. Thank you so much. Hey, if, if uh, someone's interested in learning more about cloud or maybe getting started with a, a trial or an onboarding call, or, or what is sort of your process as far as if I'm interested and I want to learn more, how can I reach out to cloud? Yeah, so first and foremost, you can just visit our website. Um, it lives now under Tiffin Wealth. So to kind of pull back the curtain again, Tiffin Wealth consists of our advisor solutions, right? We have some asset manager products, we have some retail products, but Tiffin Wealth focuses on that advisor approach, right? Whether that's how they plan, how they give, how they engage with an existing client or engage with prospects. Um, so we fall into that bubble. You can come right to this under the solutions page. You'll come to the marketing element, of course, Clout, if you're an advisor, you'll go to the four advisors. And, and of course, if you've got an enterprise team, enterprise for us is anyone that scales more than 10 seats. So not necessarily your big 500 seaters necessarily, but if you've got 12 advisors all looking to do their own outreach and manage their own marketing, um, this would be the place for you. Come in here, you know, poke around again, do the due diligence on us, see if this is something that really makes sense for you and your practice. Um, of course, we can schedule a demo here. There's scheduled demo buttons across the page itself. Um, or you can reach out directly to me. My email address is joe at tiffinwealth.com, um, as well as you can find me on LinkedIn. Um, and I have a phone number uh, that I could provide as well, 720-704-8930. Um, in any case, we would set up a demo. I would give you more of a full walkthrough of the platform itself, some of the different elements that I didn't get to touch too much on today. Um, but ultimately, that's kind of the process. From there, you know, as many or as few people from your team that need to see the demo, we can start small. And if it makes sense to then bring on the, you know, if you see the value, we can start to introduce it to, you know, larger aspects of the team. Um, but our website's our best place to start. Well, thanks, Joe. We'll let you go get a drink of water. That was a lot to talk in there. But yes. We really appreciate <laughs> your time and 
bestowing us on the knowledge of how to use Clout, how it integrates with Redtail and some of the great offerings that it has. Uh, as a recap, if you're interested in learning more about Clout, head to tiffinwealth.com and schedule a demo. You can also reach out to Joe directly. His email is joe at tiffinwealth.com or the phone number is 720-704-8930. Thanks, Joe. Awesome. Thank you so much, Austin. Looking forward to talking to some of you. Yeah, have a great day. Bye. Thanks so much for joining us today for this particular session. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call at 800-206-5030, option three for support, or just shoot us an email over to support at redtailtechnology.com. Thanks a lot and have a great day.